in 1966, a group of parents joined together with the common goal of providing their hearing impaired children with equal access to spoken language and quality education in public schools. Shortly after, the Capital Region Education Council adopted the program now known as SoundBridge as its first special education service provided to school districts. There weren't that many kids. There were five to start. It's a very low incidence, high cost program, tailor-made for cooperation among school districts. It's something they cannot do on their own, but can do if they work together. One of the major crack abilities is to get people to work together, to share their resources. Soundbridge was in the Stillman School when I first came to Crick, and Stillman was a Wethersfield public school, um, a school from the turn of the century, so it had its pluses and minuses. We had about maybe 100, 150 students at that point. Um, I taught at Hanmer Elementary School, and uh, my first classroom was in a shower uh, locker room. <laughs> We had our academy program, and we had a, a very small birth to three program. Uh, we only had two audiologists, so we did not have the wealth of audiological services that we have now. Uh, when I came to Crack, uh, Jenny Hume was the director. She was the kind of leader who had the passion for what she did and knew how to move her organization forward. I was part of the development of SoundBridge, the new facility. Jennifer took a great lead in that, and of course, that facility allowed SoundBridge to do many more things, such as expand their preschool operations, um, be a professional development center, and of course, is very heavily involved in the Burst to Three program. We try to be very dynamic, change to meet the demands, and we serve more students within their home districts. Over 93% of students are served in district, and we serve over 600 students now. You know, SoundBridge does God's work. Um, you know, as I've said on numerous occasions, I can only imagine, you know, the conversation that goes on between uh, parents when they find out that their child has a hearing impairment and all of the concerns that they have about the child as they're growing up. Then their child goes to SoundBridge and finds a way to communicate and in such a way that all of the doors will be open for them. There's no greater gift, you know, that you can give to a child. It's fun now to start seeing adults who are coming back that we had as children and to see them doing well and being successful in whatever they chose to do. It's exciting.